What is up guys, my name is an Even Ranger and welcome back to Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 2 Ultimate Edition. It's been a couple of days, well, a lot longer than a couple of days since I've um, played the game and it helps if I actually load the game. <laughs> um, apologies for the lateness of this video, uh, I know it should have been uploaded maybe like three days ago according to my schedule, but my computer basically crapped the bed and yeah i needed to take it into the shop to have it fixed there was this whole massive thing about the guy didn't know what was wrong with it long story but we're back now it's all good if the loading screen ever finishes loading okay we're still in first place which is what i like to see uh researching habitat improvement Right, what were we doing? Let's have a look at the galaxy. We've got the Torians. The, we could, I believe we were building up a military to start attacking them. Uh, let's have a look at Mars, because I know that's our main ship building. Yep, we're building the Star Fury Mark II there. Uh, let's have a look at the... At the Star Fury. Yeah, we've got better ships, I believe. Free attack compared to two. Costs a lot more. But. Hmm. Also takes a lot more time. I think we just need the numbers at the moment. But yeah, let's see if we can't speed up the military production. So if we go to our domestic stats, yeah, military rate is at zero. Bump that up to 50, and the tax rate is holding steady. Right, so I think we should start building up a fleet somewhere. Um, the question is, what kind of... Hmm. How do we want to go about this? Cause if we look at the foreign stats, let's see. The Torians are warm with us, but we do want to take them over next because they're obviously our neighbours. Um, also, other than the Drengans, they're the people that hate us the most. <laughs> Which is doing pretty well, you know, if everyone else is friendly or warm with us. it's I'm okay with this. Let's speak to them. <laughs> oh wow, they are not to put it make it sound too bad, but they are bending over backwards for us, you know. Greetings, oh great Pope Ranger. What can we humbly do for you today? I'm liking where this is going. <laughs> They've only got one fighter and it's a Mark One, version one. So they haven't done much military uh research, which is good. Let's have a look at our stats. Nope. Report. There we are. Okay, what weapon systems are they using? Wep missile weapon theory. Have they got no more technologies? Hmm. So I'm guessing they're using just missiles. Okay, Mars has got a defensive ship. Hestia has got a defensive ship, even if it's outdated. Earth has got an outdated ship. And Florian has got an outdated ship. So we're doing pretty good for ships. Um, just spend a few turns getting... Ooh! A freighter from the Drengen Empire. Basically, this is the trade routes of this kind of 4x game. Uh, 4 billion credits per month. Not much, but... Wow, our... We've actually taken losses now. <laughs> well, our losses have increased, I should say, because we've always been taking losses. Okay, what is Mars doing now? Just churning out ships. Okay. Our espionage level on the outer ends has gone to low. And a colony ship has been built on Earth. I didn't actually realise Earth was building colony ships. <laughs> Where is that supposed to be going? Um... 
Florian, we cannot inhabit. Um, one inhabitable planet cannot inhabit. No inhabitables, no inhabitables. All colonised, no inhabitables. No inhabitables, no inhabitables. No planets whatsoever. <laughs> no inhabitables, bloody hell. No inhabitables, we really don't have much. One, but it requires aquatic world colonisation. We really don't have much in the way of colonisable planets. I think that colonizer ship will just have to wait until we can venture out a bit further out. Or, you know, research one of the colonization texts. Uh, so instead of building colony ships, we should build... Hmm, staff... Four weeks compared to three weeks, but these are tougher, so... Habitat improvement, there we go. Uh, so now I will go for... Seeing as we're doing the... Uh, invading thing should research planetary invasion takes 23 weeks so yeah that's going to take up a lot of time <laughs> star fury's been made on mars i know i could probably mess around with the shipyard make it a little bit more um, optimised the Star Fury Mark II but if I'm honest I'm not really very good with the ship customization. I'll do it when it comes to the bigger ships because then we can really customise them but for these smaller ones the most we're going to get out of it is maybe one more beam sacrificing a bit of speed or something so it's not really worth that much just spend a few more turns doing this Phoenix has been built. Unfortunately, this does mean that our domestic stats, our income is going to be dropping even more than it already is. But uh, approval rating is fine at 66%. Uh, trade routes are open, which we should probably be doing actually. Uh, build ship freighters. So yeah, let's get um, a... F are these all Mark twos? Yes, they are. Okay, launch ship. Launch ship. Launch ship. I believe we can... Uh, yeah, because of our small logistics, we're not smart enough to actually handle too many ships in one fleet at once. So we're going to create this fleet, which is the first Terran fleet. So I'm going to rename it first Terran fleet and it is literally a fleet made up of three fighters so not really what you would consider a normal fleet but it'll do and we'll send it over to the edge of our territory uh own load wow speaking failure unload the next ship and this ship which is oh a mark 2 as well okay so we can fit one more ship uh, Mars currently doesn't have a ship but that's fine it'll replace it itself I could make one out of the Phoenix but um, because the Phoenix is a larger ship I believe it means that yeah, it requires three logistic slots instead of two, so we could only have a fleet made up of two of them instead of three fighters. Of course, a fleet um, made up of two of those is going to beat one made up of three of the others, but... Okay, we're currently considered a neutral civilization with a military rating of 252, and an economic... Wow, my speaking is really off tonight. Um, an economic re... Really? I'd, I should just give up. <laughs> an economic rating of 203. So we are doing really well. Uh, okay. Let's 
How much will it cost to purchase? Oh, yeah, might as well purchase that. Uh, I just need to go through all my... Um... Oh, we could build more stuff here. Uh, Xeno factories or aphrodisiac. Um, I would love to get the aphrodisiac, because that improves our population growth by 50%. Which we don't need right now, because all our populations you know, are pretty high up there. So, manufacturing capital, that would be very nice, but I would really rather save that for a bigger planet, you know. Um, out of interest, how long would it take me to build the aphrodisiac if, no, not domestic economy, if social rate had 50% instead of military. 13 weeks, okay. Um, I'm quite tempted to do that, actually. And admittedly, it is the manufacturing capital of our civilization, but it's not, you know, worth using. <laughs> It'd be a bit of a waste. So we'll buy the Xeno factory, see if we can't push a few more hammers onto the production. Uh, this is making us 50 billion credits a turn, which doesn't seem like a lot. But when you think about it, our loss is only 80 billion credits. So that planet is doing really well for us. We might actually want to, now that the population is at maximum, get rid of this recruiting center and build a economic capital so yeah I'll do that how much would it cost to buy that oh next to nothing uh, what talk about this <laughs> uh, the oh right okay that's a bit more actually um, would save me a lot of turns though yeah, why not? And here we can build another thing. Uh, we don't really have much to, you know, switch over. Um, although that has boosted us from 80 to 98 billion credits. So now we're, ma we're still making about 50 credits. But it's bumped us up, I think, about 10. Not really sure. Uh, maybe it won't kick in until next turn, I don't know. And let's see, what else can we build here? The approval here is 87%. I might want to improve the happiness here a little bit. Hmm. Multimedia center. 12 weeks. Yeah, I can put, I can skim that down to 10 weeks. Uh, domestic stats, yeah, that's brought us down 7 billion credits per turn. Alright, freight has been finished on Earth, so we can send that to one of our, well, someone that doesn't hate us, <laughs> and it'll make us money. So let's go to the capital of the Alterans, get a trade route going there, and now we'll just spend quite a few turns Mars is not building anything, neither is Earth, so we're just going to be researching planetary invasion and building the aphrodisiac. Ooh, with cash spent on espionage reaching well, wow, really, uh, reaching 12, 12, okay, this is really not good. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, like, failing at English or something. With cash spent on espionage reaching well into the trillions, our knowledge of their workings exceeds even that of head officials in their own government. So, basically we own them. <laughs> what? Doubling reproductive rates. That is a really weird effect, but okay, I'm not going to complain about it. Um, Earth is already at maximum, so it's not like I need to worry about that. Uh, let's see. Should I push some more research out? Or... 
Hmm. What's the place that does the most research right now? If I didn't do that... 65, 7... 69 with the focus being on social. Ooh, how many crystals? I actually forgot about that. Okay, so yeah. This usually does 94, so we should probably build the technological capital here. There it is. Because that will literally double the research we make from this one planet. And seeing as we'll be replacing these factories with uh, more research academies when the entire planet has been terraformed, which is when we've got this jungle done. I'm feeling very good about this place. We can actually get rid of the recruiting centre now as well. But I'll hold off on that because we've got enough construction being done on that planet. Uh, let's see. So yeah, like I said, just spend a few turns. Population, population growth's returned back to normal. And we've got a new agent. Uh, foreign stats. Oh, what a bit... I think it's under the... Yeah, espionage. Okay, place another spy in the outer and resistance. And our fleet... Where's our fleet? We've got the small fighter fleet here. Which we should place next to Florian, seeing as that's our planet. Uh, for some reason, these ships aren't showing up. Okay, there we go. That's the Star Fury, so we need the other Star Fury. And the Phoenix. So if we wait until... Let's have a look. How long until this is finished? Six weeks. Oh, excellent. We've actually made Harmony Crystals. That's boosted our approval massively up to 78%. <laughs> uh, yeah, the approval on Florian itself has gone up to 91%, which means that we can tax the living hell out of our citizens. Uh, okay, we don't want to put it up that much. We want it to be... Hmm... See, unless we're going to go down to 62%, we're not going to get that much of a difference. 76, 71. Okay, 65% should hold us over. Make sure that no planets rebel, while at the same time, you know. To ensure economic stability in the galaxy and to further relations with other races, it's become obvious that trading will become a large part of our intergalactic expansion. However, the races we've contacted are less than eager to build a dependency on the goods of other empires. It'll take time and research to convince them to, ra to raise current trade restrictions on our merchants. I love these little movies, they just... It helps break up the monotony that other 4X games do get into. Estimated value of this trade route is between 5 and 25 billion credits per week. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, so if we look at our domestic stats, trade, we've got one between Earth and Altera. Current value of five, but over time, it's going to slowly build up as um, the Altera... And Once we've been trading with them for 67 turns, it will have increased to its maximum value of 25 credits. Doesn't sound like much, but once again, it all adds up. So all our mines have been fully improved. Uh, multimedia finished here. Excellent. Economic capital. So yeah, we've got 107. Yeah, we're still making... Uh, 50 credits. Hmm, bit weird how it works like that, but okay. What's approval like at Earth? Wow. Only 46%. We really should get some multimedia systems set up here. 46%. That is massively reducing our morale. Um, multimedia centre. Bye. Uh, what else can we sort out? We want to keep the diplomatic translators, obviously. 
Uh, we want to keep the orbital command center because this is our home planet. Uh, I think literally we'll only be able to squeeze these three, three more uh, research academies out. Ooh, good. Patches into neural networks. Okay, so let's have a look at the outer and resistance and the United Planets Council assembles next week. So I think after the council meeting, I'll end the episode. Uh, multimedia sensors have been built. Domestic stats, foreign. Okay, the outer and resistance. They like that we're trading with them. Obviously, our diplomacy skill is allowing us to smooth over any problems that we have. However, they don't like our ethical alignment because they're ethically good and they know that we're militaristic because we have a massive military compared to everyone else in the galaxy. Uh, Altera brings in 59 billion credits a week. That's not that much to be fair. Their scientists are working on perfecting Stinger Mark II technology. This is perfect. Um, because of all the missile technology I've basically thrown at them, they've decided, you know, we'll keep going down this technological path. So when I'm researching my defences, Starship defences, if I go down the um, missile defence theory line, I will ha have defences against everyone, seeing as they will all be using missile defences, uh, missiles for attacking. And we've now developed the trade good aphrodisiac. Oh, did I, did I accidentally click on that? <laughs> oh, well, that's... Wow. Um, that was unintentional. <laughs> oh, okay. The United Planets meeting. As the nations become more comfortable with their neighbours, interest in galactic tourism has increased amongst the common citizens. Vacations involving foreign and exotic locals have become highly desired, and by opening up tourism to all ranks of citizenry, and not just the cultural elite, tourism should boom and international profits will double. Hell yeah, double the profits? Uh, everyone except... Hmm... Why did the Altarian resistance vote no? I mean, hell, even the evil empires voted yes. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I would like to know that we have nearly, you know, these two... We have nearly two other races worth of votes. That's how big we are. <laughs> we have 20% of overall galactic influence. If virtually the entire galaxy falls under the influence of a dominant culture, that civilization becomes the... Hegemon? What is... So basically we turn into a Pokemon, <laughs> or Digimon, of the galaxy, since uh, no civilization would be able to muster an effective military resistance at that point. Okay. But we're not really going for an influence victory. We might end up getting one, but we're not aiming for it. Alright, so I think I'll end the episode there. Um, join me in the next episode, where we will hopefully finish Planetary Invasion and begin our conquest of the evil, evil Torians that we will, you know, tell the rest of the galaxy they were evil. And, you know, use that as the reason we killed them all. Honest, we didn't want their planets, they forced us to take them over. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!